Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the last podcast of the year. So, you know, I've been thinking about this podcast a lot. I'm like, I have to put out a podcast. Um, not because for any reason other than, you know, wanting to put one out uh, at the end of the year, uh, wrapping it up. And, you know, while my mind goes to different places, one of the places that, that comes to mind is like, this is, this is good for a nice wrap up. I started the year wanting to push people on goals, pushing the idea of getting things done. I achieved at least this podcast goal of, of an episode markers. And in true tradition, I wanted to end strong at the end of the year, as I always told you throughout this year, to end strong, run hard towards it straight away. And here we are. One of the other reasons why I think this has been on my mind so much to try to really get a, an episode out before the new year um, was because for me, although I'm not one of those new year, new me people, although for me, the end of the year does signify like a, an end of sorts. And I know this is the way <laughs> most of these people think of this thing, the, the rah-rah people. Um, it is an end of a year of sorts. And with that said, you're starting a new one. And for me, stop and go markers are, are important because it gives me a very clear outline as to start of a project, end of a project, start of a, a new goal, end of the goal, start of a new thing I'm trying to learn, progression through it. It, should, it gives me a, a sort of framework for how things are to progress. And with that being said, I'm, I'm thinking through this year and I'm thinking through like the finality of goals. And then then came the real the real kind of head scratcher i i predict and I, it's probably a pretty good prediction that my 2023 is going to be very busy likely more busier than your past years i'm going to have to be far more technical with the way i approach my my time the way i approach maximizing everything i can if i want to continue doing what i'm doing whether that's podcasts whether that's projects, whether that's maintaining a certain type of lifestyle in my home, maintaining diet and training and work and, you know, all these extra things that you still have to have, you know, social relationships and family relationships and all this other stuff. And and while it is a little nerve wracking to think on all of that, in addition to all the other stuff I'm going to take on, um, it's a good challenge. And I guess the reason why I'm bringing this up is because, like for me, the concepts that this ride is is eventually going to end have, have always been there for me. Like that idea that that this is a finite life and this life does end at some point um, have always been there for me. That's actually one of the, I've never shared this with you guys, but that's actually one of the reasons why I got a, a full sleeve done. One of the many reasons was that it was a reminder to myself that like this is a finite existence and you sometimes have to go for things that you want to truly do. And this was something I always truly wanted to do. And there was a huge time and money commitment when it came to it. But it was also a situation of reminding me, which, by the way, terrible reason to get tattoos because you do forget either way, but also reminding me of the, the finality of life. Is that the right way of using that word? finality either way and as i as i continue to like kind of look through and, and predict my 2023 um, one of the things that comes to mind is that finality right that that finite amount of resource which is your life and it brings me to to a thought that a very wise woman once told me she said you know sometimes the thing that you've been avoiding that kind of keeps popping back up in your mind is the thing that you likely should be doing. And that's kind of the topic of today's podcast. One of the reasons I predict myself um, being as busy as I am in 23 is because I'm going to take on more in 23. Um, likely stuff I won't be sharing with you guys, likely, but I will be taking on more and my time will be very, very, very tapped. And one of the things that um, makes me think about this is the fact that that saying is... is kind of in the back of my mind a little bit and knowing that now I have to take some steps into making choices. They're going to kind of benefit me in the, in the greater good. And so I urge those of you that are avoiding doing things that you should be doing for yourself to really assess this, especially in the coming year. 
as we as we go into 2023 you really have to start making some decisions about your future right we we have all lost three years to this COVID thing years that you would have liked to have traveled think years that you would have liked to have have done more with your family or spend more time with them or maybe you had losses in your family and you couldn't do any more with them right there is a finite time to this and those three years came and went and and the way i look at it is this if your goal because i will always go back to this because it's a simple one if your goal is to get physically fit if your goal is to lose weight think about what those three years those three COVID years would have done for you think about what those three years what you could have accomplished if you really truly set your mind on it and think about how quickly those three years truly flew by and that's going to be the case for the next three and the next three and as you get older and older you start realizing that your time flies so much more quickly than it did initially when you were young and so my suggestion to you folks, my thoughts for this week, are to think about the things that are probably like an underlining itch in the back of your brain, something that keeps coming back to your mind, front to the forefront every once in a while, whether it's pursuing education, whether it's getting physically fit, whether it's making better relationships, whether it's planning for your future, whether it's uh, rebuilding a relationship that, that, that you damage or hurt, whether it's you helping more people, whatever it is, whatever positive endeavor that keeps popping in the back of your mind that keeps coming back up over and over and and your mind keeps getting drawn to it, there's likely a reason why you should be thinking about that. And I urge all of you to first and foremost meditate on that. Think about that, that thing and what are the pros, what are the cons. Think about why your mind keeps going to it and there's likely an answer for that. And quite frankly, in my experience, the answer is usually... You need to work on that thing. You need to pursue that thing. You need to take steps towards that thing. And as poetically enough, as we lean into 2023, and I kind of told you guys this last week as well, um, as as you think about your next set of goals, this might be something that you should be thinking about. This might be something that you should definitely look into, whatever this thing is for you. I hope every single one of you has a safe and wonderful New Year's. Enjoy yourself. Go have fun. And we'll talk again in 2023.